Hello and obviously welcome to Drive Gear. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the BMW M3 GTS. Now I'm trying to research this car but I cannot find anything because I can't be bothered. So we'll just do it for what it says on the screen. So a 4.1 litre engine, rear wheel drive, front wheel uh, engine, uh, a V8. It's got 450 brake horsepower and it seems quite good so let's just do this let's put it into club colours it doesn't look too bad that spoiler does look quite nice on it I haven't got a clue which one it is if you do then please say oh good great section Good sound. Didn't save it there. This is a good amount of acceleration. Nicely ducked in. Didn't feel too bad actually. Didn't feel too bad, but you could really top of this car over. Right oh, God, that is a bit failed. Got oh, quite a nice sound. <coughs> Let's put the down. <coughs> I think this might wobble the same way as the Audi did. Doesn't seem as fast. We might try and get it top and over. We'll see. Because now it's now what I'm aiming towards now. Oh. Mm. It's a bit uneasy on. Quite good control into that. Got quite a bit of understeer on these sorts of things. I think one of the problems we just spotted with this car is it's just you turn it in and it actually flicks the back end out. Which is something that you would get in a Mercedes, but this is just unusual. Look at that and it kicks it really bad. Brakes are quite good. It was so good. You could easily break. I could break now. It could even wobble and it wouldn't do much. Let's just try and get it. Let's just take it around one more. Try and get it crashing at me. Then we'll try and crash it. If we break now and then bing it. 
Now we can upload them the camera. Mind to try something a bit new, but I don't know. Rather using actually using the uh, replay to actually do to show the mark off. Oh, I cut it there, so that means I turned it too sharp. up very very well so just nothing wrong with it this might be the very first car which i haven't actually spotted before except for that it's not crashing mm. maybe i might have prevented that one but it did i will class that as a crash unless we can get it crashing even more Go around this corner and then there's a bit of a pipe of wood straight. It's just gripping a little too hard. <clears throat> I think we're going to find it hard to crash. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let's have a very quick look at the replay. Um, uh, we just want. Oh yeah, that's spent money. So we'll do that at some point. Let's just have a quick look at the replay. Take it from there. Right, because this was the very first crash I had. I think. I see. see. I'm trying to crash it, but it's just not crashing. You can see there it's just skidding, not really doing much. Okay. So I think I have no go here of trying to crash it. Let's just have a quick walk. So go around that corner and I actually think right, let's try and crash this. And Yeah, quite bad. Okay. Let's just get a different camera view. Let's just have a quick look at how it looks. So it gets completely turned over. Not too bad. It was. It's. A, it's just too stable, which is a brilliant thing for racing. Kicks out really good. So let's just do the map um, of that thing. Okay, let's do the map. Okay, so it should be quite good. It should sort of, if I, if everything goes correctly, it should do very very well. And all of this. Just break hard in this corner is the major thing that you have to do in this. Obviously, we know that we it will automatically break in this corner. 
well, the, the next one, which is like the S, we'll go, well, the S bridge. Uh, just coming up now, we can, along this, we don't we break and we do everything we can do to get us around. It should get around that corner fairly quite easily. These are quite easy corners here. Um, I think I'm going to move down. Go down to my friends down. Oh no, we've almost lost it there. We're almost lost it. We're almost lost it. Yeah. That's the very first time I'm actually going off in this. The best way to get around this corner is literally to stick the tail out and put it, push it forward. Oh. There we go. It sounds really, really good kill actually. Let's see if we can beat that time. We're just coming up to the end. I think it'll probably be a 141 time beating. Yay. And I've gone completely deaf. I can't hear in the other air now. Ow. That car is so, so loud. Right. So this, so this, the BMW uh, M3 GTS has actually, oh, this is interesting, right. It has not beaten the Audis. It has not beaten any of the two Audis which are at the top of, top of the table, the Audi RS5 Coupe and the Audi RS TT Coupe Plus. It has not beaten those, but it has beaten the... What well, has it? No, it hasn't. It hasn't beaten Lotus. It hasn't beaten the Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG. It, it, that is quite disappointing, because I thought this car would um, be quite good. So it's not very good, but I wonder if, if I did an unlap, if I could actually beat that time. And take it down even further. I wonder. I wonder. Tell you what, I'm going to redo that race. Let's see if I can beat that time. If I don't cock up in this corner, and I do a bit more braking, a bit more control, I might be able to beat that time. Let's just see if I can. I've got another try and see if I can go a bit more faster. Be a bit more harsh with some brakes. Mm. Lost a bit there. A bit more controlled. I do believe this car can actually go a bit more faster, a bit more. And onto the handbrake. Power throw. So that's the only way to really, really listen and get around that corner straight. <clears throat> oh, we've got a wobble. 
come on. Going at high speed. Now cross the line. Okay. So. The retry has actually put it further up. It's actually put it. It actually has actually is towards more of the top of the table. So I tell you what, we're going to move it up because I believe that it could go a bit faster, and it has. It's actually done it in one minute. 43 so that has literally that's where I want to position it that is absolutely perfect for what I want to get it to so obviously that was a bit unexpected when the first try but now it's in its right price it should it, Realistically, I wanted it to be the Audi because it was such a good car to control, if they could con control. It's actually a car that I actually got the feeling that I was actually driving. It's not a car that I felt, oh, this is just another car that's just wobbling around. You could feel the clarity, you could feel it when it was handling and you could really calibrate it on, the, on obviously, Drive Club. Um, excellent car. I'll probably use this when I do races now. <laughs> okay. So, thank you for watching uh, this. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, yeah. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.